In 1989, an American biologist began taking an unusual interest in salt crystals collected from a cavern in New Mexico. The rock was 200 million years old. Inside it, Russell Vreeland was hoping to find life. If the organism was there when the crystal formed then and was trapped and that crystal sealed, then that crystal is a time capsule for that life. Russell was particularly interested in tiny drops of water that were sealed inside the salt. Could microorganisms be present in the water? And could they still be alive? Many of my colleagues came and said things like, well, we think you'll fail, but somebody has to take a look anyway. But the possibility of life emerging from millions of years in the past was unnerving. Jurassic Park turned out essentially the way it did with the animals getting out and, and these things running amok and eating everything. So there was a tremendous push on us to make sure that what we were producing didn't get out to the whole world and couldn't hurt everything. With care to prevent the slightest contamination, Russell extracted the ancient fluid. Could life really have survived across 200 million years of time? There's this desire to get in there and, 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 and look at the flasks and open them up, but you can't do that. Uh, so you, you just have to sit and wait. Four months on, and there was still no sign of life. Having them come up negative verifies the techniques you're using, that the techniques are being very, are very good. Uh, but at the same time, you, you want a positive. You, 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 dis you, you want it to happen. Then, one day, something did. My colleague brought in two flasks and set them on my desk and said, look what we've got. It's pretty obvious that they are, there is something growing here. To their amazement, the microscope revealed living organisms that could only have come from inside the crystal. These are the oldest living creatures ever found on Earth. There was a, a, a strange feeling of, wow, do I really believe it? 200 million years old and still alive. Life from eons before humans or even mammals existed. When this organism first entered a crystal, there were no continents. There was just one big continent. America, North America, Europe, England did not exist. A hundred million years after this organism was sitting in the crystal, the dinosaurs were tromping across the surface of the earth. The ice ages occurred. All of these things occurred through time. And yet this thing, this, this microbe sat in this tiny little bit of fluid. Here was a genetic time capsule, a clue to the building blocks of life from an ancient past. When we look at the DNA of this organism uh, and the gene sequences of this organism, many of the genes are very similar to the genes of organisms living today. It's not altered. It hasn't got some weird DNA. DNA connects us to every life form on the planet, 
even those 200 million years old. I think what it says is life is pretty much the same today as it was then. It just takes different forms and it reorganizes itself. This reorganization of DNA lies at the heart of evolution. Life, including us, is in a constant process of imperceptible change over time. And life stretches back even further than 200 million years to ages that can only be revealed in the Earth itself. Ever since people began to carefully look at rocks, they found inside them the remains of creatures embedded inside their layers. I like to think of this as being a time capsule written in stone. Now the story of life is written in these fossils. For specimens like these, science has been able to piece together life's journey through time. Because we can date the rocks, we can also date these trilobites. They lived over 500 million years ago, scuttling around the floor of some deep ocean. Fossils have allowed us to chart the evolutionary chain that led, by chance, to us. And it all began a staggeringly long time ago. Now, the amazing thing is, when you look at older and older rock, you continue to see signs of life, all the way back to the earliest life forms, which are tiny little dots marking the presence of single-celled organisms. They date back to an incredible three and a half billion years ago, back to the very beginning of life's journey. To get a perspective of humanity's place and time, I'm making another journey. Starting from the beginning of Earth time right through to the present day. The first billion years of Earth time are lifeless. But then, no one knows exactly how, the first signs of life appear three and a half billion years ago. These are our very first ancestors. Now for the next two and a half billion years, not much really happens. The Earth is dominated by single-celled organisms or bacteria. All they do is they live, they divide, and they die over and over and over again. As time passes, it's incredible just how long it takes before life shows any sign of change at all. It's not until 570 million years ago that something amazing happens. There's an explosion of new life forms in the world's oceans. These are the ancestors of all living animals, fish, birds, even us. It isn't long before animals are everywhere on the planet. But it's not until around five million years ago that something remarkable happens in our journey. The first ape men appear. This is about when our ancestors first left the jungles and forests of Africa to live in the grasslands and savannas. That's when our ancestors began to walk upright, which freed up the hand. The thumb, which was once used to swing in trees, can now be used to make tools and to grab things. That's what we begin to separate from the apes and begin our long journey to become modern humans. For us, 
it still seems a long, long journey from ape men to modern humans. But in the time span of life on Earth, it's a mere stroll in the park.